Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Imago, which is an image forensics tool. Now for those of you wondering why I'm making this video exactly, well, if you remember in about 2017 or 2018, uh, but I think late 2017, I made a video on image steganography where I essentially explained how to hide images uh, within, a, uh, how to hide information within images and how to encrypt that data with a tool called Stegosuite. So if you want to check that video, video out you can uh, I'll post the link in the description where I actually used Stego Suite and showed you how to hide information in images and how it can be decrypted so essentially sending data or sending information via images which is pretty cool so a lot of you on that vid particular video asked me about image forensics which is a very very good topic uh, to, to discuss and I thought why not make a video on it all right so uh, in this particular video we're going to be looking at how to use Imago forensics which is an excellent tool uh, for analyzing EXIF uh, metadata uh, on images uh, so I'll, I'll actually be discussing that right now now I've mentioned metadata before but let me explain it for those of you who don't understand it or, or do not really uh, do not really grasp the idea here so metadata is essentially a set of data that describes and gives information about other data that is what metadata is you then have image metadata so image metadata is text information pertaining to an image file that is embedded into the file or contained in a separate file that is associated with it. So image metadata, uh, metadata includes details relevant to the image itself as well as information about its production. All right, and that then goes into EXIF metadata. When you talk about uh, information pertaining to an image's production, EXIF metadata is essentially a record which shows the digital SLR camera settings used to take a particular photograph, but it is not limited to that. All right, so it's all information regarding uh, to the image. So it, it could uh, tell you information about what camera was used, uh, the GPS co coordinates of where the image was taken if you had geotagging enabled on that particular image. So the data is recorded into the actual image file. So therefore, each photograph has its own unique data. Now, the type of information that EXIF metadata contains is uh, information like the camera exposure, the aperture, the resolution, as I've mentioned, the model of the camera, uh, the GPS co coordinates, if you did have geotagging enabled on that particular image. And uh, then your question might be, why is this all important? Well, this is great. This is a great tool. Uh, for image forensic analysts, for those of you who are on the ethical side of things, uh, it can also be used for tracking various people, tracking um, where they're taking their images, what device they're using to take the images. So you can see that it also has a good and a bad side to it or a uh, sort of like an ethical and a non-ethical side to it where you have stalkers who use uh, you know, metadata information or EXIF metadata information from various people's photographs and get a basic idea of what the person is doing, where they're taking the pictures, etc etc you get the idea and as a result it is very important to know how to wipe exif metadata from your images or photographs if you are using or if you do share photograph photographs quite a lot all right so now that i've talked about what it is uh, let's take a look at imago forensics which is an, an awesome tool right over here so you can see it'll give you a bit of an introduction into what it is so Imago is a Python tool that extracts a digital evidence from images recursively, which is great. The tool is useful throughout a digital forensic investigation. If you need to extract digital evidence uh, and you have a lot of images, this is the tool uh, that you'll be able to compare them easily, etc. You get the idea through the comparative uh, analysis of the images. Uh, Imago allows, this is one of the great features of it, Imago allows uh, you to extract the evidence into a CSV file or into an SQLite uh, database, which is great. It's always great to see an SQ, SQLite uh, uh, application where it really makes sense because you don't really need a big one. If in a J, JPEG, EXIF uh, are present uh, or EXIF information is present in GPS coordinates, etc., so essentially uh, explaining all the information available here that you would find with a standard EXIF metadata. All right, so installing it is very simple. You can go ahead and use the pip uh, for Python. It uses Python 2.7. Uh, so you install it via, type, uh, you can install it by typing in pip install imago and the tool once it's installed, the binary will be available and you'll be able to use it. So you can go ahead, uh, you can go ahead and take a look at the usage here, but uh, let's get started with using it now. Uh, one of the great uh, resources that I have, and I'll share it in the description, uh, is a, a group of sample images here that do contain EXIF metadata. All right, so you can see it is a great GitHub repository that uh, contains sample images for testing EXIF metadata retrieval. For, so for those of you in forensics who want to test your skills in 
uh, the, the retrieval of EXIF metadata, here you go. So we are going to be working with a JPG file and I've already downloaded a sample one. I downloaded the first one, which is the Canon 440D, which is the, uh, the camera it was taken with. Uh, that is a JPG file and I have it on my desktop here. You can see it's a picture of uh, an iguana, I believe. Uh, it's quite a small image, so you can't really analyze it, but there you are. Uh, and uh, let me now uh, bring up uh, the um, the Margo tool. So I'm going to open up my terminal here and the usage is very simple. Uh, so I'll get to that in a second. So first of all, you need to specify the path or the base directory where the image uh, lies. So we type in Imago and then the input and then the directory. Mine is on the desktop. And once I specify the directory, since, uh, since it does have a recursive feature, it will es essentially get all the images in that particular directory and get all their respective metadata. In my case, I'm going to be working with uh, outputting the data into a CSV file. So we'll hit output and we want to save the files onto our desktop as well. All right. Now, once that is done, you can then use the X command. All right. So the X command will essentially extract all the EXIF metadata, uh, the, all the EXIF metadata from the image. Uh, if you do want uh, to, to output the data into a temporary SQLite database, you can also use the S command, but I'm not going to do that. You then have uh, the type of image or you, where you can specify the type of images you're looking for. So if you have a folder that contains various uh, image formats, uh, that being PNG, um, uh, etc., you, you get the idea, all the various image extensions, you can then specify that by typing in T and that will only restrict it to uh, a JPEG image or for JPEG images. All right. And uh, finally, what you can do is if you're looking for uh, for your G for your GPS information, you can type in G and that will extract all the uh, the geotagged information or the uh, GPS coordinates or uh, representing where that image was taken. All right. And that is uh, that is dependent on the device uh, the um, the image was taken on. So, for example, if you're on a smartphone and you have GPS enabled and geotagging enabled, that'll make a lot of sense, which is what many people are using. However, in this particular case, the image, this uh, uh, the, the camera, this image was taken on is a Canon DSLR with which I'm guessing was not really connected to the Internet at the time. So it would not really not, it wouldn't make any sense. But in any case, I'll use it and I'll hit I'll hit enter. And uh, you want to give it a few seconds. And uh, for some reason, uh, yes, I did not specify the desktop directory. Apologies, guys. I always usually make a one mistake. So that is desktop and hit enter. Now, since it is going to scan them recursively, what you're going to find here is it's going to take a few seconds here to get all the images or to scan the directory. And once it's done, it's going to output all the data into a, a CSV file. Uh, and into an SQL, uh, SQLite database if you did uh, select that option. In my case, I'm only working with the CSV file, which you can then analyze with, uh, with software like uh, the Microsoft Excel or with any uh, CSV viewer. Uh, that's all in regards to the information that you might gather from the image. I'm not really going to be focusing on that. I simply want to show you how to use this tool. So this is very useful for for tracking various people. And I don't mean that in an unethical way. For those of you who are into uh, forensics and you are tracking various people and they are posting images on social media and without wiping their EXIF metadata. This is a great way of analyzing where that image was taken, what device it was taken on, etc. And if you are, for those of you practicing image forensics, you can access, uh, you can access the GitHub repository where I had the sample images here. Credit goes to the author. You can definitely check it out. So I'm just going to wait for this to complete and I'll get back to you when it's done. All right, so it just took a few seconds here to process. And as you can see, it extracted the basic information, the GPS uh, data and the EXIF data right over here. And it saved it into our CSV file, which is right over here. It is saved in an imago.csv file. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this to my Windows operating system because that is where I have, um, th that is uh, exactly where I have uh, my, uh, my, my uh, Microsoft Excel installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. Uh, I'm just going to copy the imago.csv file into my web server here and transfer it onto my Windows operating system. So that is in the var www and the HTML. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead into my uh, Windows operating system. So I'll get back to you when I'm there. All right, I'm back on Windows and I have the CSV file right over here. And what I'm going to do is you can obviously open it up with any text editor, but it'd be much, it'll make much more sense if you open it up in a data or in, an, in a spreadsheet, sorry, in a spreadsheet viewer. 
so that everything is sorted out in the appropriate tables. So there we are. You can see that the data is displayed uh, very, very simply. And I would not recommend uh, actually opening it up that much. Just expand the data as far as you want to see. So you can take a look at the, the image right over here. Uh, so you can see that the image was taken on a Canon EOS 40D. Uh, the last access, the UTC, the, well, the access time is in, um, is in UTC format. Uh, you can go ahead and take a look at all the information that has been uh, that has been extracted from the image. I'm not going to be taking a look at all of it because, again, uh, this image does not have information that is useful for me, but is a great way to, to test and see what type of data you can extract. You can go ahead and take a look at the GPS latitude and longitude here, uh, which is pronounced incorrectly for some reason. But in any case, it displays it out there so you can actually track the coordinates. In the, in the particular case of this image, we did not have any, uh, any, any geotagging in this image because, again, it was taken on a device that does not geotag images. Uh, because it lacks uh, a GPS connection and an internet connection. Although there are some cameras nowadays that do have those features. Uh, so there we are. That is essentially how to uh, analyze or how to extract XF metadata from an image. And you can again try this out on various uh, on various applications. Now, when talking about um, when talking about uh, wiping EXIF metadata from an image, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. There are many ways that, uh, that you can actually do this from various operating systems. You can delete it from the properties section of an image uh, on, on Windows and on, also on Linux. But uh, the great way of doing it is using an EXIF scrubber. And, potent, uh, and a good uh, online EXIF scrubber is right over here. I have the link open up in my browser, which is uh, Verexif. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but essentially view and remove EXIF online, which is a great resource that I've used before. Essentially, when I'm posting some of my personal images online, it's a great tool to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the, uh, the imago.csv file that we have over here. And we're going to use the same image, but what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe out uh, the uh, the EXIF data, and then we are going to use Imago to analyze and extract uh, the EXIF data from it and see whether uh, any of the data has been removed. All right, just to show you that it does really work. So I'm just going to browse for the image. We have it on our desktop right over here, Canon, the Canon 40D, uh, and we're going to uh, remove the EXIF data here. So give it a few seconds to scrub it and it'll prompt you to download the image right over here. All right, so now we need to change the directory to my downloads or uh, let me just copy to my desktop. So root uh, downloads uh, and we're talking about the image had the photo no exif dot jpg, I believe. Yes, and we're going to move that to my desktop here. Uh, so we've copied it to the desktop and uh, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to get rid of the original Canon image and uh, we can get rid. Uh, we can now get started with Imago. So we'll just use the previous command that we are that we were using, um, which is right over here. Margo, we're working on our desktop, and we want to extract the EXIF metadata and the GPS coordinates, and just essentially extract as much information from the image as possible. I'm going to hit enter, and again, we're just going to give this a few seconds to start up and extract all the data that we require. So again, I'm just going to wait for this to complete, and uh, once it's done, I'll get back to. You. All right, so the extraction is complete and you can see it's essentially extracted as, as much information as it possibly could. And uh, we can now analyze the CSV file. So if we open it, you pretty much shouldn't see any information in regards to data. But we can see that we have some data here. Uh, but uh, there we are. We can take a look at the tables. Uh, of course, I would, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up in Excel again so you can actually check it out. So let me get back to you when I have it in Excel. All right, so I've just opened up uh, the scrubbed or the um, the image with uh, which had it exit which had its EXIF data uh, wiped, and uh, you can see I uh, just have the CSV file right over here that we ju I just transferred from Kali onto Windows. So if it, if I open it up, you can see we don't have any of the information we had before. Uh, so all the EXIF metadata has been wiped. We don't have the camera, uh, the, the camera name, any information in regards to the resolution of the image. Uh, we do have a bit of leftover information in regards to the country code here, which does take a few other tools to wipe and probably I'll cover them in, in some later videos when uh, when I'm actually discussing forensics a whole lot much more. All right. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on the forum and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace, guys.